In this video, we are going to look at the 2023 grade 12 internal mathematics paper 2, question 2. So question 2a says, given that the matrix K is this one here, find the value of X for which the determinant of K is 2. So the first thing they want us to find here is the value of X if the determinant of this matrix is 2. So how do you find the value of x. So to find the value of x, we are going to use the formula for finding the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. So the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix, in this case a k, so we are going to say determinant of the matrix k is equal to, uh, you multiply these elements. These elements are called the major diagonal element. So you multiply the major diagonal elements 8 times x then minus you also multiply the minor diagonal elements these 9 x times 1. Alright, so what have we been given? We have been given the determinant of the matrix k as 2. So meaning where there is determinant of k here we are going to put a 2 is equal to 8 times x is 8x minus 9 times 1 is 9x times 1 is 9x. So we're going to have 2 is equal to 8x minus 9x is negative x. So to get the value of x, we're going to divide both sides by negative 1, negative 1. We're going to have negative 2 this side is equal to x, which means that x is equal to negative 2. So this is the value of x. This means that the matrix K will now be written like this. So we have 8, then 9. X, we found that X is negative 2. So 9 times negative 2, then 1, negative 2. So we're going to have K is equal to 8, 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, then 1, negative 2. So this is the matrix K. All right. The second part of A says find the inverse of K. So the inverse is denoted by K to the power negative 1. Whenever you see this, it means they are talking about the inverse. So the so k inverse is given by 1 over the determinant of k times the adjoint of the matrix k. So this is a formula for finding the inverse of a matrix 1 over its determinant times its adjoint. Now, remember we have been given that the determinant is 2 and then our job now is just to find what this adjoint is. So we're going to have 1 over the determinant is 2, then let's find the adjoint. So to find the adjoint of the matrix K, you are going to swap the major diagonal element. Okay, so meaning this negative 2 will take the place of 8 and 8 will take the place of negative 2. So meaning we are going to have negative 2 here, then 8 here. Then we come to the minor diagonal elements. Multiply these minor diagonal elements by negative 1. If you say negative 1 times negative 8, here you are going to get positive 18. I mean, negative 1 times negative 18, you get positive 18. Then negative 1 times 1 here, you are going to get negative 1. So, this is the determinant. Or if you want, you can multiply this by every element inside. But you are more safe leaving it at this stage because a lot of students make mistakes when they try to multiply. So, leaving it at this stage is very safe and you get full marks. Alright, question 2b reads, a survey carried out in a certain district showed that out of 215 teachers, so let's collect information first, total, total number of teachers 
is 215 okay so they are saying a survey carried out in a certain district showed that out of 215 teachers 170 taught mathematics so 170 taught maths 100 taught additional mathematics so 100 taught adma additional mathematics i'll just say adma they taught adma then 41 taught computer science so computer science i'll just say cs 65 65 taught mathematics and adma so 65 taught maths and adma then 30 taught additional mathematics and computer science so 30 taught adma and computer science cs 26 taught computer science and maths and 21 taught all the subject but a they are saying illustrate this information in a venn diagram okay so they want you to illustrate this information in the venn diagram all right so this is the venn diagram that we are going to use okay so remember we have maths then adma and computer science now how are you going to illustrate this information in this venn diagram so the first thing that you are going to do is to feed the venn diagram the number of teachers that taught all the subject so in this case 21 all right so here when you look at set maths and adma this is the intersection of two sets then when you look at this part here also is an intersection of adma and computer science this one is the intersection of maths and science so meaning this one that is at the middle is indicating those teachers that taught all the three subjects because this is part of adma this is part of maths and this is part of computer science so you're going to write 21 here all right so 20, 21 teachers taught all the subjects then after that the next thing is to feed the venn diagram the number of teachers that taught two subjects so in this case so you can check this so that you don't make mistakes so let's move to this 26 teachers taught computer science and maths so 26 teachers taught computer science and maths so you cannot just come and put 26 here since you already have 21 on the intersection of maths and science so what you are going to do is you are going to say uh, 26 minus 21 so that you find it the number of teachers here so six minus one is five two minus two is zero so here you have five five teachers so that when you add this five plus that you get back 26 then next so let's check this as well next 30 teachers taught adma and cs computer science so 30 taught adma and computer science 30 taught adma and computer science so you cannot come and put 30 here as well because in this intersection of adma and computer science you already have 21 so what you're going to do is you're going to say 30 minus 21 so here we're going to borrow one so 10 minus 1 is 9 here you remain with a 2 2 minus 2 is a 0 so here we have 9 so that when you say 9 plus 21 you get back 30 then they are saying 65 teachers taught maths and adma 65 taught maths and adma so the intersection of maths and adma is here but remember you already have a 21 so you cannot just come and put 65 there 
So what you're going to do is you're going to say 65 minus 21. 5 minus 1 is 4. 6 minus 2 is 4. So here you have 44 teachers. So that when you say 6 plus this, you get 65. All right. So we check this and we are done with the intersections. Now we come to this. They are saying 41 teachers taught computer science. 41 teachers taught CS. So the set for computer science is this one here. Now, how are you going to know the number of teachers that taught computer science only? So to do that, you are going to add 9 plus 21 plus 5, then subtract from 41. So what you are going to have is 41 minus, when you add 9 plus 21 plus 5, you get 35, which is equal to 41 minus 35 is 6. So meaning 6 teachers taught computer science only. Then here we have 100 teachers taught ADMA. So set ADMA is here. So but remember we have this. So for us to find the number of teachers that taught ADMA on, only, we are going to add this plus that plus that and then subtract from 100. So we are going to say 100 minus 9 plus 21 plus 44 is 74 is equal to 26. So meaning the number of teachers that taught ADMA only is 26. Then the last one says 170 teachers taught maths. So set maths is this one here. So they are saying 170 teachers. So what we are going to do is we are going to add this plus that plus that then subtract from 100 so that we find the number of teachers that only taught maths. So we we'll have 170 minus 44 plus 21 plus 5 is 70. So this gives 100. So meaning 100 teachers taught maths only. All right. But remember, they said the total number of teachers is 215. So for us to find the number of teachers that did not teach any of the subjects that were in the survey, we are going to add everything and then subtract from 215. So we are going to say, uh, first of all, let's add these that are not on the intersections. So 100 plus 26 plus 6 plus. So we are done with the number of teachers that are not on the intersections. So we can now add this 44 plus 21 plus 5 plus 9. When you add all this, you are going to see that you have 211 teachers. Now, remember the total is the total number of teachers is 215. So, what you are going to do is you are going to say 215 minus 211, which gives 4. So, meaning 4 teachers were in the universe. So, you put the universe of the E here to show the universe. So meaning four teachers were in the universal. So that's how you feed the information in the Venn diagram. The second part of this question says how many teachers taught so at A taught none of the subjects carried out in the survey? So how many teachers taught none of the subjects carried out on the survey? It's just these, these four because they are not in this set or in that set or in that set. So it's just four, four teachers. Then B, they are saying, how many teachers taught additional mathematics and computer studies, but not mathematics? Those that taught additional mathematics and computer science, 
but not mathematics. So meaning this set mathematics is excluded. It's a complement. So you are just going to add these plus these plus that. So we are adding uh, 26 plus 9 plus 6. So 26 plus 9 plus 6 which gives 41 teachers. Then part C, they are saying how many teachers taught two subjects on. So they want you to find the number of teachers that were on the intersection of two sets. So when you look at set maths and ADMA, the intersection of these two sets is 44. Again, when you look at the set ADMA and computer science, the intersection is this one. When you look at maths and computer science, the intersection is this. So you, when they say two subjects only, it means you are going to add all those that are on the intersection of two sets. So we're going to add 44 plus 9 plus 5. So 44 plus 9 plus 5, which gives 58 teachers. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Please subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share.